This is what I want the ladies to answer this question for me. Would you have what you have without the surgeon's knife? Mm. Huh? Would you would you have what you have without the surgeon's knife? Cause like I say, I know a girl who came back with that BBL and got married, told me, F you, Corey. I will never be your concubine again. <laughs> now he's using it. That's and the mother married her. Like I was like, somebody married that. Mm. You bullshit. Get the smoke. Oh Lord Jesus. Cheers to the smoke. Oh, the smoke. here she goes. And then Lindy said that you was making payments on your ass. You need to pay off that goddamn car you got. Me. What's the smartest thing you've done with your money so far? I think bought my teeth and my in my teeth. I think that was real smart that I did. Is it true that you signed to B and B because the label paid for some plastic surgery, like a, a breast job? What? I don't know where that came from. Like, no. Is your ass real? <laughs> It is now. <laughs> Your body is too fat. I got so many compliments. This is homegrown. That is homegrown. No, it's... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. When he got a BBL, got married. What am I tell women? God damn it, some of these fools out here love BBL. But it's normally a broke. Oh, wow. That's... Not, that's you know what's funny. <laughs> I know who you talking about. I mean, we don't... All you ladies with BBLs, you gotta get swole broke month. <laughs> what? If you got a BBL, <laughs> you can you can hope to get a rich fool. You can hope to get a rich fool, but most of the time, it's gonna be a swole broke month. Oh. A cut up who drive your car while you at work. <laughs> That's, that's all you go get. <laughs> you stay in the You went gym. to the gym? What else I'm going to do? <laughs> Ain't get what else going for me. That's what you uh, go get. Uh, I'm telling you. <laughs> Look at the life of the average woman with a BBL. She got the best of the n with no auto pay bills. She got ready to move in tonight. Tim BBL is you live with you. Where else he gonna live? Why you still young? That BBL be popping for you a little bit. You go strip and do all that shit you wanna do. Show the BBL off in the Instagram. Some women bowling up the bus down, getting naked on they OnlyFans. What helped me was realizing that I'm gonna have to live in my body for a very, very long time. And I want to choose to be happy. And I can't think about what everybody else thinks about me. And I will not allow myself to live this long life in this body and be unhappy with it and show up not 100% me. I've always thought you were beautiful. Did you, did you know you wanted to do different work to your body along the way? Or like, when did you decide you were gonna make a change? You know, like a lot of people will be assuming that like when you do surgery or something like you're insecure about yourself or you hate hurt like hate yourself and that's just not the truth i just be feeling like if i want to correct something i want to do a little sign something like i don't give a f i'm i'm gonna do it you just want to feel good like on they f***ing confidence like girls want to walk around you know what i'm saying like not everything is about a man not everything is about a man hold up she first started dancing she wasn't an instant hit with the club patrons because she didn't have the typical stripper body because she was super skinny nope i think bbl before teeth ninjas rather trick on a girl with a body and a gap before with a broad with a nice smile your bbl is your investment for your teeth when you come from nationalities that like praise thick girls that they praise ass they praise thighs they praise all of that like it's hard to just be like oh yeah i'm just i'm just gonna walk around my flat ass some of y'all happy with it, that's great, but that just wasn't me when I was young. Like, that's, Jesus Christ. Cam, if a woman walked up to me and said, mother I was hustling when I did this. This is what I had to do to get it at the time. I was hustling. Do you know that opens up my mind to make me see, okay, I get it. You was hustling. You was out there lost without your leader, which is a man. You was out there 
I can understand stories like that. But most women get BBLs because of vanity. It is not nothing to do with they grind. When you out here trying to make it, man, you would do some of anything, man. I used to do dirt when I was a young man trying to get some money. I grew out of it because it wasn't in me to, to try to always sneak the next man. It wasn't in me to do it like that. So I wasn't real good at it because I always felt like I'm doing some dirt. Vanity is dirt. It's a major sin. Don't want anyone about to her make the same mistakes as me. <laughs> you know, someone said to me at the very beginning when we started surgery, he said, the more surgery you get, the more surgery you get. Yeah, the more surgery you get, the more surgery you get. Why is that? Because the more surgery you get, the more you're going to need to fix and undo all them previous... And I have actually destroyed myself to the point like now I can't even walk around in a bikini without thinking everyone behind me is looking at these massive sticking out keloid scars. I have actually destroyed myself. Like I've destroyed myself. I don't want anyone else to make this mistake. Imagine now we're at the stage where we're not trying to look better. We're trying to undo what has been done. We're trying to correct, like botch this now. Now it's not even like, oh, I'm excited. I want to make myself better now it's like trying to take back the errors you know what i'm saying if you out here getting a bbl because you want to look a certain way you are crazy and will be treated as so in the long run by me that's just me though you ain't got to worry about me though i'm just one man god damn it there's a whole bunch of motherfuckers think your bbl is i'm gonna marry her that girl got a big old booty she got it done get you one of them motherfuckers. <laughs> they ain't even <laughs> If your man is with you because of how you look. Greetings, you polite savages, and welcome to another Tip Talk. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Ladies, gentlemen, and polite savages, you are now about to witness a journey sure to anger modern women and struggle rapper fans alike. Today, we talk about the BBL pipeline and the reversal of such. And of course... We know that some of you are going to be upset, but it's okay. Sometimes the truth is a bitter pill and you have to hold your nose, shut up and take your medicine. As always, we can only guarantee to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth as we see it. So there's nothing else left to do but get on into it. Are you ready? Let's go. Man, I'm telling you guys, this BBL epidemic is absolutely off the hook. You have beautiful ladies who can sing, talented, augmenting their bodies, just trying to get a leg up on the competition. But ladies, gentlemen, and polite savages, I want you to ask yourself one question. How much do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's worth it to change yourself, to play Dr. Frankenstein, to get a little injection, a back shot, a little fat transfer, whatever you're doing it. And think about all the ladies who want to look like you, who think that that's the way to make it. And they go to the back alley back shot specialist and wind up unaliving themselves. The 20 year old living in New York, she couldn't afford a licensed plastic surgeon. Plus, since she was super skinny, she didn't have enough fat for a transfer. So she turned to a woman named Donna Francis and paid $800 for silicone shots in her butt and thighs. If you haven't heard of Donna Francis, she was arrested and imprisoned for her illegal silicone business. One of her patients passed away during a procedure, leading to a serious legal battle and eventually landing Donna in jail. Thankfully, Cardi was lucky enough to survive the procedure without any major side effects. She said, they don't numb your butt with anything. It was the craziest pain ever. I felt like I was going to pass out. I felt a little dizzy and it leaks for like five days. Whatever you do, don't get talking about my surgery because everybody's just like cardi you got your done too big you 19 if you 20 if you 21 and sometimes you too skinny and you be like oh my god i don't got enough fat to pull my and everything so you resort to shots don't do it like i was a lot of people's uh guinea pig oh and at that time i, ne I had never had surgery i had a shot even what I did, and even with me not consulting with anyone to do something like that, how insane that was. Do not get silicone shots because you can get sick, you can die, have complications, and all this other crazy stuff. Go down. Something's wrong in my legs. Period. Something's wrong in my legs. My butt made people, you know, violate me on Instagram more. People criticize me. So I went and I got um, shots and then almost died. 
It's a dangerous game that you're playing. It's a dangerous game that we're playing with Mother Nature. We could have hit some squats. We could have hit the gym. But no, nah, we want it the quick way. Like everything nowadays, it's microwavable, quick, fast, in a hurry, no delayed gratification. And this is exactly what we have. In 2004, Kanye West dropped some lyrics. He said, the prettiest people do the ugliest thing for the road to riches and diamond rings. Kanye West, and that's the old Kanye, he was on to something. Cause I see these ladies now with them BBLs killing you. And them thighs ain't never matching nowadays. But one of the extreme cases of plastic surgery, I'm pretty sure this is not natural and that she either got fat injections or silicone injected into her buttocks and thighs. Many people wondered if it's painful, is she's having a hard time living her everyday life and I guess we would never know but injecting this amount of fat or liquid silicone is not only problematic in the aesthetic part but brain fog, fatigue, discomfort, migration are just some of the symptoms that may happen later in the years. But I am telling you right now. All right, so here we see on the runway a very exaggerated Brazilian butt lift procedure. You really want to be careful who does your surgery, where you get your surgery done, and how it is performed. Remember the importance of the ultrasound guided fat grafting for your safety and that is now Florida law. So remember, look for proportions, look for symmetry, look for beauty. These aged out haggish hoes are slow to approach the realization that the show is over. We can see through the filter facades, makeup mirages. We can see through the deception and lies of BBL bodies and Botox shots, erasing crow's feet from your eyes. We see through it all, through all the fakery and the fakery, the pretend, as we all know, and you should know, ladies, that the reality check will be coming calling for overdue rendered services. And the funny thing is, the crazy thing is, ladies, as the men, we accept you as you are more than you know, ladies. Do you think men in general prefer a woman that's all natural or a woman that has implants and a BBL? Implants and BBLs. Guys are so out of reality, so they don't like not natural girls. Você gosta de mulheres com naturales ou implantes? Naturais, naturais. <laughs> okay, so you think they like girls with their backs done? I think so. Unfortunately. What do you think? That girls should stick to all natural? They should do what they want. But they shouldn't do it because of men. Naturales, naturales. A natural body with like a BBL girl with fake boobs. I mean, a uh, natural thing, man. I done got BBL cool. And that means they got the bread, you feel me? But nah, I like natural. I like They invested natural. in this. I mean, I like you investing in yourself, but look, you can invest in the gym. I ain't gonna lie, I like it natural, but it gotta be, it gotta look like, you feel me? Like, it gotta be, you gotta have a nice, you know. They all say natural body, but they all want that BBL. I think it depends. Like, if it's too much, then they're like, ew, that bitch yeah. like... Would y'all ever get your body done? No. Yeah. Are you verified? Because it looks like... It looked like... Because men... Because, <laughs> as, as I said before, men... The extra large. Men don't even like BBLs. We don't. Why do women think because men follow certain women on Instagram or social media that we like them or like that? We think we that's, like, that's what we are about. We think if that's we what like you the picture, prize. Then we want to get ass. Or, or, follow, no, or we if you follow, follow them, certain we follow girls. Them. Then we trying to get with them? Yeah. No, that, 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 that's what we like and what, what we're into. No, uh, it is versus hard. Versus just it, I think most entertainment. Women, it's entertainment. Women mm -hmm. can't, I think women can't divide what it looks like what y'all give attention to and what you actually would invest in or love or cherish. I think there is a divide with women of, of knowing what that is because we we aren't the same way. Women are not following men that they find attractive, that they wouldn't find attractive in real life. We're right. not, you know what I mean? So it's hard for women, I think, to see, like, to hear, like, oh, no, I follow this. I follow BBL, this, and the big and the this and that. But no, I don't really want my wife to have that. A lot of times men, men are just bored. And it's like okay. going to a strip club. Like, I'm not... Tipping the stripper, I want the stripper. I like her. It's an entertainment. It's like going to a basketball game. It's just it's entertainment. She's just twerking on the basketball on the court, and it's money and it's this is this. It's just entertainment. But I don't want that. I just like the entertainment value. Of it. For how many times we tell you just to hit the gym, watch what you eat, what you intake for your diet, and just stay as natural as you can be. Because the sooner that we know where you rank the better it will be for your mental state and dating prospects. Match making you to where you rank accordingly in the pecking order. Match making you accordingly to a man that is suitable for you. Where really the truth is, is getting you a wedding ring around your finger. 
ensuring you have stability and a family and a legacy for your future. Marriage and kids are so close. Instead of making you look like a social media hoe, with all you gotta do from your head to toe is go natural as you can be. It really is that easy. Otherwise, you're gonna keep attracting yourself with hollow value dudes that you never really wanted where one day you're going to end up settling for that dude when you could have gone the extra mile, did the work yourself instead of going under that scalpel knife. It is the most dangerous surgery. Yeah, like, it is. Because the amount of arteries and veins and all that sort of stuff you're having, right? At any point, they can nick an artery. If, that, yeah. if, blood, if, if fat goes into your artery, you're dead. There, bum. With a broken heart, Nora Whitehead is sharing her pain. The loss of her 31-year-old daughter, Cheyenne Medrano. She wanted to change her image through plastic surgery. She went to Matamoros, Mexico. She went for surgery for liposuction and a BBL. A friend drove her to Matamoros. She went without letting her family know. For $3,000, my daughter paid with her life. Her death from fungal meningitis tied to an outbreak at a pair of clinics in the Mexican border city near Brownsville. Those are extremely hard to treat. For Cheyenne, the symptoms appeared quickly. Two months later, Cheyenne was gone. But what are you ladies going to do when you get 65, 70 years old, when the lights dim, when it's all over, when you're just trying to live your life and you're going to get up with that big old dump truck? Just booty ain't matching the legs still. You're going to look like an old prehistoric flamingo walking around all off balance. Man, that wind going to blow and you're going to have to take a seat. Wind blow the other way, you're going to fall forward. It's like having a part of your body that's unbalanced. You wasn't made to do it. You still didn't get it right. You messed with Mother Nature and Mother Nature strike right back. And as for the ladies who actually survived that surgery, it's the most dangerous surgery that you can have. It's the most deadliest thing that you could do to yourself from the plastic surgery idiom. You're going under the knife. You're risking it all just to look a little better when you could have did it naturally. Corey, as a man of true words, let us know your thoughts with the fewest words in our favorite game called One Word, featuring Corey Holcomb. <laughs> Ratchet White Girls. BBL. That's all I got for you, you polite savages. Like and subscribe. Hit us up on all social media networks. We found true happiness.